When I first went to prison, the, the darkest day I had was uh, realizing that I was actually in a uh, federal prison camp and was going to spend a couple of years there. It completely broke down whatever small link that I may have had with my children. The punishment comes in being separated from your family. The real punishment comes in seeing what it's doing to your family. For each person that goes to jail, there are 10 other people that are adversely affected. It really doesn't matter what happens. It really doesn't matter why he's going. He's going to serve time. It is happening to you. To care for those who are incarcerated and imprisoned is one of the cardinal aspects of charity. It's one of the most important. Forgiveness and understanding are the foundations of the mitzvah, to love your fellow man as yourself. Prison is a dehumanizing experience. They separate you from your family, from your friends, and also from any sense of accomplishment. It's an environment of prisons where people are lost that nobody wants to help. And imagine the cry of the child who misses his mother. The Jewish inmate knows while he is inside, there is an organization that will help defend his right to be a Jew. That he does have a wife, that he does have children who won't forget who daddy is. Surrendering oneself to a prison doesn't end the issues. Aleph makes me able to face a day. Therefore, I'm able to deal with the everyday things that go on at home. When I first found out about what was happening to my dad, I just didn't believe it. It was scary. It was really hard because no matter how much you had thought about it, even during the trials and, and knowing that it could happen, it still wasn't the same as knowing that, that he was found guilty and he was convicted. It was just like... I couldn't believe it. I didn't want to believe it, but I, I guess I had to. Everything's the same. It's just he's not. He's not here. It was hard. And then after a while, I I got used to the fact that he was going, and then it's just hard. what they did for my husband. And the peace of mind that gave me as his wife to know that he was not alone. It's why we're so involved with the family, because nobody even knew that they existed. They were lost. And unfortunately, statistics show that 85% of all marriages fail when one spouse goes to jail for a year or more. They have been immeasurably scarred. It takes a lot of love to make them completely whole. Children of inmates are statistically far more likely to have problems in school, to have problems in relationships, to have problems in society. The parent was the breadwinner, was the one that took care of all their material, physical needs, and suddenly he was just taken away from their midst. They're suddenly thrown into a circumstance where they have to fend for themselves, pay bills they didn't know how, and they find themselves having to go on welfare. Each and every person we help has a ripple effect where we affect other people within the community. My son had never seen me. And when I went up to him and mommy said, this is, this is Papa, the first thing he did was reach out his hand and touch my face. And we realized that what he was doing was, was all he knew about Papa was pictures not a physical person. He was, he was reaching out to touch to make sure that I was real, that this was truly a physical thing. Hello, Mom. I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, I, I, I'm in jail. I don't think that we have words in our language to describe the feelings when you're taking your husband to prison. And it's where things are unpopular that we do not fear to tread. I mean, if it wasn't for us, nobody would care about them. I don't know when I'm going to be able to call you again. But 
and I'll call you as soon as I can. All right, Mom? Thanks. I love you. Bye-bye. Our work is not to help an inmate get out of jail or escape punishment for what he did. The fact that an organization comes around and tells them that you're still a human being, a person, a brother, part of the Jewish community, and we're here to help you in any way that we can. And here's our hand, and hold on to it, and we shake your hand like we shake anybody's hand. That in itself gives a person back a sense of life itself. The Aleph Institute takes the person who is incarcerated and they work with them and they help them and they rehabilitate them and then they're able to put them back into a community as a better person. We tend to incarcerate more and more people without considering rehabilitation. We don't treat them as human beings. And all of us have our, our faults and our good points. Uh, we were all uh, members of society. Most of us pro well-producing, community involved, family oriented. You don't raise a building by grabbing it at the top. You raise a building by putting a lever at the bottom. At that time and place I said, I'm the one that has to accept responsibility for this mess. When you raise the lowest element in society, you've already raised the highest level of society as well. There will never be enough money in the world to build enough prisons to lock up everyone and throw away the key for everyone. And so by elevating those people that have failed and transgressed and have sinned and have done enough harm to be incarcerated, we're actually elevating our whole world, including mine and yours.